Hi everyone, in this video tutorial I'll be teaching you guys how to create a simple navigation bar in Adobe Flash Professional CS6. So let's go ahead and open up Adobe Flash. Let's click on Action Script 3.0 and that'll bring up your Canvas page. So in order to create our navigation bar, what we'll have to create is um, individual buttons that will compose of a navigation bar. And in order to do that, what we're going to want to do is click on the rectangle tool, go to fill color, and select a gradient. You're, wanna, you're going to want to create a small rectangle, like so. Now once you've done that, go over to your right hand side and click on free transform tool. Then click on your gradient transform tool. Once that's selected, click on your rectangle and just switch the gradient around like so and you're going to want to um, space the gradient to give it that more professional look now once that's done and you're happy with your rectangle we're going to change the symbol so right click on your rectangle go to convert to symbol type in navigation button home that's what we'll name our symbol as. Then as a type, you're going to want to scroll down and go to button. As registration, you're going to want to set it as center aligned, as so. And once that's done, click OK. So once you've created your button, you're going to want to go into it. As you can see, um, you'll be taken to your button editor. And if you look down into your timeline you'll see this up over down and hit state basically what this represents is how your button will look like once it has been engaged with your mouse uh, for example if you hover over it it'll change color or it'll activate a graphic um, yeah so basically once you've done that what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna convert your button into another symbol so right click on your button go to convert to symbol and we'll name this uh, symbol navigation movie home and we'll have the type as movie clip we'll set the registration to center aligned and then once that's done we'll click OK and if you go to your libraries panel you'll see that you'll have two assets in your um, in your panel one's a button one's a movie now once that's done go over to your upstate in your timeline and now it's just the case of holding alt and click and dragging that onto your hit state we'll do the same with your upstate to your overstate as shown now once that's done you're going to want to uh, click on your overstate then click on your button we'll go to properties now if in your properties panel if you go down you'll see this color effect it'll have style below and it'll have a drop down menu you're going to want to select brightness and then let's make the brightness we'll, we'll, we'll have the brightness as 30 percent on your hit state we'll do the same we'll select brightness then we'll select sixty four percent once you've done that we are going to want to rename our layer so we'll name it we'll rename it as navigation button home once that's done we'll create another layer so we'll right click then go to insert layer we'll rename this layer as text then we'll go over to a tools panel, we'll click on the text tool, we'll type in home, and we'll change the color to a whitish color, let's make that center aligned, as so, then once you've done that, we'll click on our upstate in the text layer, then we'll hold on alt click hold and drag that onto the hit layer, hit layer as shown and once you've done that 
if you test the movie so if you go to control test movie and click on text test sorry if you engage the button with your mouse you'll see it'll change color as shown once you're happy with your uh, button we'll go back to our original canvas page and we'll create three additional layers so we will right click insert layer three times now we'll go over to our first layer and we'll rename that as navigation home that'll be our first button we'll rename our second layer navigation clients we'll rename our third layer navigation services and we'll rename our fourth layer navigation contact us now once that's done we will want to lock our first layer so we'll want to lock navigation home and then we're going to want to click on our second layer now once we've done that we are going to want to select our button in the prop in our libraries panel right click on that and we're going to want to select we're going to want to click on duplicate now once you've um, clicked on that you'll see this duplicate symbol tab that pops up we'll rename the symbol navigation button clients we'll click OK and then as you can see it created a new button which was named navigation button clients so once that's done we'll hold and we'll drag that onto our canvas page as shown and then once that's done we'll go into our button and then we'll simply edit the text we'll type in clients as shown we'll go back to our original canvas page and as you'll notice you'll see there are now two buttons one's home and one's clients um, as you can see we duplicated navigation button home if I were to click and drag that button home without duplicating it um, and then if I were to modify it it would modify both of the buttons not just one single button so you're going to want to duplicate your symbols in order to modify or edit them now that we have two buttons on our canvas page we'll once again lock our navigation we'll lock our previous layer so we'll lock navigation clients we'll then go into navigation services and then we'll duplicate duplicate navigation button clients we'll rename that as navigation button services and we'll drag that onto our canvas page I'll then go into the button editor and then I'll edit the text I'll type in clients sorry I'll type in services as shown and then once I'm happy with that I'll lock that layer and then I'll go into my last layer I'll duplicate navigation button services one last time I'll type in contact us click OK then I'll drag that onto the canvas page once again going into the button editor and modifying the text Now once that's done, as you can see I have four 
uh, buttons, home, client, services, and contact us as um, that will compose of my navigation bar. What you can do now is you can unblock your uh, layers. And if you go to control, test, movie, test, you'll see that you'll have your navigation bar as shown. And if you hover over your buttons, you'll see that'll change color. That the buttons will change color. Now that you've created your navigation bar, what you are going to want to do now is you're going to want to match the canvas backdrop size to the size of your navigation bar. And one way you can do that is by going over to your properties panel and selecting one of your buttons. Um, if you go to position and size, it'll show you your coordinates of your button. We won't worry about that now. Um, just take a look at your width and height section. Um, if you noticed, we the height won't change for, for our navigation bar, so we'll keep it at 30. And seeing that our navigation bar composes of four individual buttons, we'll just multiply 87.95 by 4. So I'll bring out my calculator. And I'll multiply 87.95 by 4, which gives me 351.8. Now once I've got that, I'll click on Modify, click on Document, that'll bring up Document Settings. Now I'll just simply change the dimensions of my canvas page, 351.8, and I'll change the height to 30. Once I've done that, I'll click on OK. And as you can see, the canvas page has changed its dimensions to match the dimensions of my navigation bar. Now it's just the case of dragging my buttons. Onto the canvas page. Like so. And there you have it. That's the simple navigation bar that has been created in Adobe Flash Professional CS6. If you go over to Control, Test Movie, then go to Test, you'll see that once I've engaged the buttons with my mouse, they change color. Um, that's ready to be exported into Dreamweaver. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like the videos.